Hello, it is a Saturday. I'm working on a weekend. I've not worked on a weekend in ages. Uh, I've got my old man helping me today because we're fitting cables underneath the bungalow and my back's not amazing, so he's going to give me a hand with that. But yeah, we are fitting a, all the connections and power for an air source heat pump today, so it's a valent system, which if any of you fit air source heat pumps, you'll probably know valent ones are actually probably one of the easier ones to do. The connections are fantastic. Just all the controls are, are really simple to do. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to get some gear in a minute and I'll show you what we're doing. Okay, so I'm just going through the gear a minute, make sure we've got everything and that I know where, well, just working out where I'm going to situate everything. So we've actually got heat pump outside. Beautiful. That still needs leveling by the company. They're coming back to do that on Monday when they commission. So they're going to get this all leveled up properly. So we've got an isolator to fit outside for that. So the main supply isolator. Um, which we've, I'll show you outside in a minute. We're really lucky actually we're wiring this one. It's a doddle. Um, then we've got, a, there's a bus cable. So there's a bus cable that goes from the external unit to the, uh, what do you call it? It's essentially the thermostat. So the control, the control hub, I think, or system control, uh, and then the actual PCB, which is the, the brain of the whole system. So there's a bus cable that links all three of those together. Um, in here, what you've got, you've got your mains power supply. The MA2, I believe, is what goes off and does... Oh, what did it do? That one. We'll look on it, shall we? Rather than me just guess it. Oh, yeah, so that's your circulation pump. Uh, ZH is your zone valve, so there's a mid-position zone valve on that one. Uh, there's your bus connections on there. That there is that the DCF AF is for the um weather compensator so they've got a weather compensator on all heat pumps so typically they should go on a north facing walls out of direct sunlight so you're going to get the best possible weather compensation uh, so which is what that is there that's your weather compensator outside so that just mounts up on the external wall with a flex so it's got three cores coming into it yeah pretty straightforward really and then all we need to do is from so in underneath the bungalow under here is a buffer tank that's where the circulation pump is that's where the mid position valve is and there's my old man bringing some gear in <laughs> bless him uh while i just come around in here talking doing nothing <laughs> yeah uh in here we've got the hot water cylinder so at the moment they have so they've got solar already on the roof they've got um a my energy eddy fitted there um so we need to reconnect that onto the uh what do you call it immersion so that's all good we've got a immersion thermostat to run from here all the way back to the main control panel under the floor uh, and also a flow sensor which will be under the floor uh, i say under the floor like I say, it's, it's a big void under there i'll show you it's it's nice actually under there to be fair so yeah not too bad hopefully it won't be too bad of a day so they're actually having two units though so they've got the main external unit there which is for the bungalow or the house it's quite big uh, and then they've also got another one, which I might show you. There's lads working out there, so I might not be able to film out there. Um, but they've got another air source going in for a for their swim pool. So they've got an external swim pool here, which is being re renovated at the moment. So yes, right. I'll get you under, underneath and I'll show you where we're going to run cables and things. And then we'll get to work. Yeah, so I was saying that the valent is the best one, I think. That's just from personal experience. So we've fitted, well, we're not fitting myself, but I've been uh, worked on Samsung units and Mitsubishi units as well. And I just find they're, they overcomplicate it so much. And the information they give you in terms of uh, electrical connections is so poor, it is horrendous. So, but Valent, they send you a schematic, which is absolutely amazing. I'll chuck a picture up of it here so you can have a look. It literally tells you exactly what you're doing, which is, from my point of view is what I want. If I've been called in by a, a plumbing or, or heating firm, renewables firm, whatever, to come and wire up an air source heat pump for them, I just want to be able to rock up. I know I've got cable in the van and stuff and just connect it without having to make any technical phone calls and that. I just want to be able to get on, get it done. All right. And then they can commission it. Everybody's happy. But yeah. So that's the, yeah, Valent are the best ones, if you ask me, just from looking at the drawing anyway. Okay. So I'm in underneath the bungalow now. As you can see, we've actually, it's quite a nice area. So it's about four foot tall under here. Um, we just got crawl space all the way underneath the whole property with lights. Fucking spoil, really. So there is our buffer tank. Uh, they've got a magnet clean circulation pump. That one there. 
mid position valve. Uh, that there hole where the expanded foam is, that's the flow and return going out to the actual air source heat pump, just to give you a reference of where we are. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to fit my little control unit down here on the wall somewhere, I think, and then I can connect up my circulation pump mid position valve onto there along with the there'll be a connection here going to the cylinder thermostat and the flow sensor as well so and then i need to find a power supply from somewhere i need to hopefully there's some power down here ah i think that might be the old boiler supply i'll double check because there was a oil boiler under here so if that's what that is we're going to utilize that for our just control module so that'll be good right catch you in a bit it's loading up still, getting all the gear where we need it. A van is an absolute mess at the minute. Look at this. What an absolute state. My God. This is the trouble when you're working all over the place. Just get crap everywhere. It's a nightmare. So, yeah. So, obviously, they've got... So, this is a new solar system they've fitted. I don't know. I can't remember what... I'm not size, sure what size array they've got. But they've got two batteries. single phase supply. Obviously, they're having two air source units, so they are having load management on it to um, make sure they don't overload the power supply. So, but any of you who were worrying about that or interested in that, so ideally they'd have a three phase supply, but we can't afford to do that at the end of the day. It's too expensive. So, yes, yeah. right. Let's get some flavors for them. Okay, that was absolutely horrendous under there. I actually thought it, I thought it was going to be nice to have that big space to work in underneath, but my knees are killing me. I'm such an old man, it's ridiculous. Yeah, so we've got the two armoured feeds in, one for the air source heat pump for the house, the other which, oh, sorry, glare, the other one which is actually feeding it, going to feed a small consumer unit in the little pump house out there. So we're running a ten mil for that because that's going to feed. Just a tiny little air source heat pump, just 20 amp supply um, for the pool, plus the pool lights and a pump, I believe, as well. That's all it was. Yes, there's, there's not much on there. Uh, oh, and, a, and a, a pool cover as well. There's a six amp pool automated cover that goes over it. So, yeah, but I can't get in there. They've Someone's locked it and they've taken away the key for the padlock. So I'm going to have to come back here Tuesday anyway. I needed to come back to get this finished because there's quite a lot to do here. Um, so, yeah, I'll be back here on Tuesday to get that little board fitted out there and finish my connections inside. So it's not too bad, really. Um, all I've got to do is actually connect the mains out that end for, for, the, pool, for the pump house um, because the air source isn't coming until probably another six months' time or so. Um, yeah, but so we've we pulled in the bus cable everywhere. We've pulled the thermostat cables in where they need to go. The weather compensator cable is in, which is like the complete wrong end of the house because it's got to be on the north wall. So that's in. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Yeah, we've so I've had to fit another consumer in it at the actual mains position, which is actually sort of in a little cupboard under underneath as well, anyway, uh, because. They've got a cons mains consuming it for the whole bungalow, for the house. 
but it, it's absolutely rammed. So I've had to put another little board in just to accommodate these two new circuits, which is really quite annoying. So yes, uh, so we're gonna, a bit more to do and then we'll pick up before we come back here on Tuesday. There we go. Day one at this job done. Bit of a wet one, not gonna lie, not a fan. Been working inside for far too long. So, yeah, all the cables are in. We've mounted our new distribution board. Um, isolators up at the air source unit. So nothing's powered up yet. So basically what I'm gonna do, come back here Tuesday, uh, get all the connections done, get it powered up, ready for commissioning, which will be done, I think on Wednesday or Thursday by the other guys. So I'll show you how all the connections in that in the video next week. Um, as well as there'll be another air source heat pump which I'm doing as well in that same video so yeah thank you so much for watching make sure you like and subscribe um, let me know if you want to know anything about air source heat pumps in the comments and I'll make sure I try and answer them in the next video yeah thanks guys see you soon